This video will cover the topic finding x and y intercepts given a polynomial function. X intercepts are points where a function intersects the x axis, and similarly, y intercepts are points where the function intersects the y axis. Let us construct a coordinate system with origin O. Let the horizontal axis be the x axis and the vertical axis be the y axis. Let us say I have drawn a linear function which intersects both the y axis and the x axis at points 1 and 2 respectively. Now, the point 1 is called the y intercept and point 2 is called the x intercept. We can see that the y coordinate of point 2 is 0. Thus, in the case of x intercepts, the value of y would be 0. Similarly, at points where a function would intersect the y axis, that is, in the case of y intercepts, the value of x would be 0, right? That is right. In fact, this is the technique we would be using to find the x-intercepts and y-intercepts of a given polynomial function. In order to find the x-intercept of the polynomial function, we set y equals 0 and solve the equation for x. Similarly, to find the y-intercept, we set x equals 0 and solve the equation for y. Let us consider an example. Let us say we are required to find the x and y intercepts of the polynomial function y equals 4x cubed plus 12x square plus 8x. To find the x intercept, we set y equals 0 and solve the equation for x. We get 0 equals 4x cubed plus 12x square plus 8x. Taking 4x common, we get 0 equals 4x times x square plus 3x plus 2. Expressing the quadratic term x square plus 3x plus 2 as a product of its factors, we get 4x times x plus 2 times x plus 1 equals 0. We have 4x equals 0 implies x equals 0. Next, we have x plus 2 equals 0 implies x equals negative 2. Finally, we have x plus 1 equals 0 implies x equals negative 1. We have three values for x-intercepts. What does that mean? This means that the function cuts the x-axis at three points, namely 0, 0, negative 2, 0, and negative 1, 0. Okay, to find the y-intercept of the function, the equation becomes y equals 4 times 0 cubed plus 12 times 0 squared plus 8 times 0 equals 0. That is right. The point where the function intersects the y-axis is at the origin 0, 0. Okay, I understand the concept. To find the x-intercept, we put y equals 0 and solve the equation. Similarly, to find the y-intercept, we put x equal to 0 and solve the equation. Perfect. 